So once again, a YouTuber has used my name and my comment to create a video. This one's Janice Hilton. I believe that's her last name. And I left a harmless comment explaining why some women ask men to pay for their lifestyle in under one of her videos. And she decides to take out the comment. She actually makes a short where she calls my name, my channel, and my YouTube handle. All three. That's kind of, that's going too far, I think. Just that right there is going too far. And then she addresses, well, she mentions what I said. She doesn't address it properly. And she pretends that I'm anti Christianity. She pretends that I am advocating for a lifestyle of like living together and like that I need her book that she's always promoting. And for me, it's the level of dishonesty that she demonstrated that gets to me. What I don't like, since Janice wants to talk to me, I'm going to talk about her now. What I don't like about people like her, they take that flag they call the Christianity flag and they wave it. And that's not what you're supposed to be doing. It's not enough to say that I'm a Christian because my deity told me this and that. You're supposed to be a Christian enough to be gentle you're supposed to have certain fruits of the spirit which she doesn't demonstrate when she takes my comment out of context and uses it the way she wants to it was very dishonest of her the spirit of truth was supposed to be an operation she didn't tell the truth about me and i don't appreciate that but that's that's kind of the norm for certain kinds of women they feign this, you know, I'm so gentle. I am so understanding and harmless. And they're not at all. As she demonstrated, what bothered me the most was the fact that her comment section didn't understand that she's taking what I said and using it improperly. Because they're responding to what she said. And that's what the same thing happened. The subscribers don't really key in, some of them, to what actually is going on. They respond to what the the host of the channel says. And they get all excited. Like, as if they're robots or something. Yeah, take the cookie. It's like they're chanting something. How do you know what I believe? My statement doesn't even tell you what I believe. It tells you what somebody else believes. Somebody else who believes in having intercourse with her boyfriend. She also believes that because she's having intercourse with him, he has to finance her lifestyle. That's what my point was. Obviously, I needed to translate that for you. That was my point. Okay. So you made a big deal over absolutely nothing. That's it. Sometimes these women who make these, you know, they act like they're so soft. They like to create adversaries because they like to create a little bit of drama on their pages. I, I, that's what I noticed. They're like supposed to be so fragile, but they're always attacking people and making a big deal out of every little thing. I did see her do that recently. With some other people that post comments. I don't know if it's Facebook, wherever. But she's always putting like printed um, statements that people make. Somebody talked about the fact that she teach. She says that she teaches her son to want. Or she's going to tell her son. One of those. To who she he has to marry, right? And so she spent like a week um, talking about people that are commented. I never read those comments, but... I know she kept posting like this person said that I am wrong and that person said this and like she's very dramatic and 
I didn't need it. Like, I didn't expect that kind of drama about a little statement that I made. But she got excited. She, you know, she got excited about that. Um, Janice, there are women outside that are fornicating, right? As it's called in the Christian church. There are women outside who are having intercourse with boyfriends. And those women expect their lifestyle to be financed by their boyfriends. That was my point. That's it. So you don't need to tell me about your book, about the cookies and all that stuff. You don't need to tell me anything. You don't know anything about my belief system. I didn't tell you what I believe. You just like some kind of like, um, I understand you have a mission on your channel, but I wasn't opposing your mission. So I don't know. I would appreciate it. Well, you know, you won't have to worry about it. I was going to appreciate it if you leave me out, but you won't have to worry about it. I will absolutely stay far away from your channel. Um, definitely stay far away from your channel because I could say a lot of things I don't want to say. Just leave me out of it. I won't comment anymore about your, I won't comment on your page. I'll have nothing to do with your page besides me posting this because I have to respond to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. The last time this happened to me, the person kept, I kept putting comments because I didn't really think it was a big deal. She took all the comments from me and some other people and she turned it into like four videos. It was a series. And she finally stopped when I finally had to run her over with a truck, figuratively speaking. So just leave me alone. I'm not here for any beefing and arguing and like strife. That's something that's also not the fruit of the spirit, what you did. What you did. I'm not here for strife and, and contention, you know, if you didn't want to have strife, you would have just said someone left a comment and said X, Y, and Z. If you didn't want to create some kind of strife, which you shouldn't want to, you wouldn't have tried to use all three of the names that, that are associated with my channel. So miss, if you're a Christian, I'm expecting you just to leave me alone. If you have discernment, Maybe you don't. You could be one of those very religious people who have absolutely no spiritual sensitivity. And so you might take this and start running with this even more. So it all depends on what kind of person she really is. Religious people, they live by a set of rules, but they don't actually have a like life of Christianity. They just have the form of it. They have the appearance. They know all the scriptures to quote. But when it comes to like, it's like the cake that looks wonderful. When you cut it and you actually dig into it, there's nothing there. So I don't know if she's one of those kind of Christian, quote unquote, Christian women that like, because she was practicing everything that her father taught her, that might be enough for her to call herself a Christian or if she actually has a living uh, faith that's vibrant based on what she did to me. I might want to say that she's just a religious person and she doesn't have any real abiding faith because I don't see why she turned my statement into something it didn't say and then turn around and attack me. The Bible does says, don't give your pearl to swine. And so me leaving my comment in her sec uh, in her comment section was me doing that. And so, yeah, I will never do that again because she didn't deserve to have my comment in her comment section. And when I left it there, I was thinking to myself, why are you doing this? And I said, well, it's a comment. So don't worry about it. I will not give my pearls to swine ever again, Miss Janice Hilton. Thank you for the wake-up call.